My experience with returning citizens as employees has been exceptional. They show up early, they stay late, they have a goal, they know where they want to get, and so they're going to work to achieve that goal. Rick fit into it perfectly because, like I said, he was familiar with the different equipment and could do so many different types of jobs, and that's exactly what we needed. They're ready to go back into society. They're ready for somebody to start trusting them again and believing in them. And I think that's most important, is in having somebody that can say, hey, this person believed in me, I'm not gonna fail them, because they don't wanna fail themselves. Being able to read blueprints, being able to scale the prints, and he gathered it pretty quick. So that was one of the things that caught my attention, being able to continue to push him, to, hey, you got this already, man. I can imagine what you can do in the next couple years. My husband and I co-founded this agency because his youngest brother, Dannon Pruitt, was murdered by someone that had been incarcerated. He couldn't access the basic services or essential things that you need to exist. Every person that walks through our door is uh, provided with a career pathway. We assess and assess and assess because it really identifies the type of skills that you actually have and the ones that you say that you want. Our goal when the participants come in is that everyone receives certification. Matter of fact, to exit our program and to officially be a graduate, you do have to receive a certification. We do financial literacy training. We do entrepreneurial skills training. Uh, we also provide wraparound supportive services because that is essential. I want to get them to work right now because I know they want to go to work. And then we want to work with them and, and keep the relationship going so that as we move forward and they move forward, uh, they can pursue what's in their heart. I have so many goals. Now, I love this electrical work. I finally found something that I enjoy doing and enjoy learning to do. The Dannon Project, it helped me to regain everything that I had lost. I received a guest services front desk clerk certification, and I also received a clerical receptionist certification. If I needed anything from the Dannon Project, I know that they're there to help me. They're, they're willing and able. They've let me know that several times, whether it be dental, medical vision, job, what have you, anything. When I moved up from a laborer to a crew leader, landscape crew leader in nine months, I don't think I would have been as successful as I am had it not been for the Dana Project. You know, surface level, the challenges are, I need a birth certificate, I need a social security card, I need a driver's license. The real challenges are low self-esteem, fear, a sense of self-loathing. When you're incarcerated, you really are nothing but a number. After you have a background, you feel like it's over. And so we're gonna work the system, we're gonna work the programs, we're gonna do all of those things. But I'm gonna look you in the eye and I'm gonna say, if no one's ever told you, your life matters and your success matters. You landed your feet in a good place, and we're gonna put the resources around you that you need. You won't hear any more doors clanging behind you. Any more lights out when you're not ready to go to sleep. Okay? We got you, man, okay? They really guided me and opened up my eyes and opened up my mind as I could be somebody. Overall compassion they show, you know, it makes a person wanna, you know, just, get up and want to go out and apply itself because where I came from, that's unheard of. We have relationships and always seek to build new relationships with potential employers. We talk about what your needs are so that we can identify our participants who can meet those needs. Cedric is a rising star in the city of Birmingham Public Works Department. Not only is he extremely passionate about his work and cares about his community, he has been mentoring and coaching new people that have come into our department and paying it forward. If you take the city government and open it up and say, hey, we're going to give people a second opportunity, a second chance at life, different businesses and organizations say, if the city government can do this, then we can do this too. Rick come in and him telling us his history. Anytime you have something like that, you feel 
a little bit apprehensive, but he's proven himself to be a good person and a reliable worker. Brenda came highly recommended from the Danton Project. I knew that she had to be top notch. Based off of her personality and the skills that she had, I decided I wanted to go ahead and hire her. We was able to bring Fletcher on as a helper originally, and he has become a great superintendent for me. We look at every individual and says, you know what, you've served your time, and now it's time for you to think about you. It's time for you to dream. I know that you probably had a lot of dreams. Give us the opportunity to partner with you to help you realize some of those dreams. You know, it's very confusing when you get out of prison, and it takes a lot from you. And coming here, it's like this place is already I'm feeling that I've, I have been uplifted. I know I have the ability, you know, I'm, I'm just hurt a little bit in you know, my heart, you know, and I'm, I'm kind of like ashamed, you know, and uh, I just, I'm ready, you know what I mean? I'm ready, and now I have hope.